The purpose of this screencast is to show you how to build a quiz in Moodle. So the first thing you want to do once you've logged into your course is to make sure that your editing is turned on. So now you have your topic set up. My course isn't super pretty right now. And you decide, well, before we actually put the quiz, I would recommend that you add some categories in your question bank. And so to do this, you're going to click Administration. And we're going to go down to Question Bank. And we're going to choose Categories. What this is going to allow you to do is to organize your questions so that in the end you don't have hundreds of questions all under one category. But whether you can divide them up, whether you want to do units or topics or lessons, and you can organize your questions that way. So you can see I have a couple categories already. Um, your default just kind of names your course, and if you don't do anything different, every question will end up under this category. So I would recommend doing something like a unit one and a unit two. Um, you can subdivide those categories as well. So I'm going to say, well, I'm going to add a, a um, unit three. I'm going to add a quiz to unit three. So first of all, I'm going to change it to top because I want unit three to be kind of its own thing right up on the top. So unit three, um, it's up to you if you want to name the category. I'm just going to call it unit three. Um, you can have this show or not to show. So there's my first category. I'm just going to click add category. But now I want to actually have some lessons under Unit 3. So I'm going to repeat this process. And this time I'm going to select Unit 3 as my parent group. And I'm going to name one Lesson 3.1, which this will go underneath Unit 3. And so then I can have a Lesson 3.2 and a Lesson 3.3. And again, it's just a way to organize your questions. I'm going to add Category. And now we're ready to actually build. Right? So I'm going to build my questions into that category. So I'm going to head back to my course. And I'm going to say Topic 3 is Unit 3. So I'm going to find where I want to put my quiz. I'm going to click Add an Activity and select Quiz. <clears throat> so now we're ready to build. So we get going, and you've got to name your quiz. And so we're going to call it, um, kind of makes sense that we're in Lesson 3.1, Unit 3. So I'm going to call it Lesson 3.1, Formative Checkpoint. And again, if you want to put a description in there, you can. I'm just going to copy the same thing in there. Um, you can decide if you actually want them to see that description on the course page, or maybe it's something that they just see when they enter into the quiz. Lots and lots of options here in terms of timings and, and when do you want them to be able to take it, and how long do they have, how do you want it to be graded, um, how do you can have the layout, and um, you can have all questions, or um, you can go question by question, etc different behaviors, appearances, restrictions, feedbacks, um, lots of different options for you. For now, I'm just going to click Save and Display. So all we've done so far is we've created a place to put our questions, to organize them, that was the categories, and we've created the, the quiz. However, we don't have any questions in the quiz yet, so we need to now actually type in our questions. So we're in our 3.1 checkpoint. I'm going to click Edit Quiz, and this is going to allow me to place new questions into it. So right now we're at questions are zero, and I'm going to click add and a new question. We'll talk about questions from a question bank in a future screencast. So new questions, and there's tons of options for you. Calculated ones, you can drag and drop, you can do essays, short answers, matchings, um, lots of different options for you. I would suggest that you kind of play around with them and see what they look like. Some will be auto-graded by uh, Moodle, and some will, of course, require you to do some work. Um, I'm going to just choose a multiple choice question to show you how it all works and click add. So now I actually create my question. So here's where that category backs in. I don't want it just in this default area. I said, okay, I'm in unit three and in lesson 3.1, I want this question to fall under that category. In terms of the question name, it's really up to you. You can go question one and question two, question three. You could also type the first few words of your actual question. It's more of a way to think about um, when you look at a list of your questions, can you recognize what they actually are? So I'm going to ask them how many, how many sig figs are in 0 0.1230. So there's my question. So maybe you'd want to have part of that question up in the question name as well. That's going to be a personal preference. I'm going to let this count as one point. I don't feel like I need to provide any feedback for them. Um, I only want one correct answer as opposed to multiple. And I want to shuffle my choices. So with question one, two, three, and four, 
is where you put your responses in. So it does not have one answer. So therefore, I'm not going to accept any grade for that. Um, choice two, I'm going to say two sig figs, which is, again is wrong. Three sig figs is also wrong. And four sig figs is the right answer. So I'm going to change it to 100% if they choose that. Kind of a neat thing as well is you can provide individual feedback for each of those responses. So if they chose this one, I could say no, because the zero at the end is actually significant and give them some sort of teaching moment there. Of course, that's completely optional. You can add more spaces, more questions, more and more options as well. And I'm going to click save down at the bottom. So now I just created my first question. You can see question one, how many sig figs? And now I can just repeat that process. I can add another one, another multiple choice or any other question for that matter. And your list will start building up here as you go. One thing to note at the end, you want to make sure that this maximum grade matches your points here. Um, and so I would probably change this to one since I only have one question there. And shuffling will shuffle your questions around. On this particular answer, we already chose to shuffle the responses. Now we can shuffle the questions as well. And it gives you kind of a nice um, layer of security. So once you have all your questions in place, you can click Save. And now our quiz is going to be ready to go. So if we go back to our topic three here, we can see our lesson 3.1 formative checkpoint. We can preview it if we want to. And there's the question we just built. Notice the randomized options there. And another thing to keep in mind is there's a couple of different ways to edit it. Um, so if we go back into that lesson 3.1, we can go over here to administration and click edit quiz. And if we were previewing it, you can see that there's an edit question right there as well. So either way, it would take you back. This one would edit the specific question. If we went back to that first method and entered into the quiz, and then go to administration and edit quiz, this brings you back to the point where we can add or remove or, or change some of the outlay of this quiz. So hopefully this gives you a start on building a quiz from scratch in Moodle. Good luck.